Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, I wanted to share really quick on this video what I am doing for my tagging system for our Breed Up program. Um, I thought about it a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm just excited. Um, and then obviously, like, last year was just kind of whatever, but then this year I'm going to have a couple of twos, so I definitely need to get everything in line and make sure that I'm organized before it just becomes chaos if you know what I mean. So I wanted to show you guys really quick. I'm going to go tag one of our first F2s. We had two yesterday, um, both Ram lambs. So I'll leave the link in the description box below, but both of those guys will be for sale um, coming this fall. Um, but for our tagging system. So if you look at the regulations, I'll put them in the description box too, for the, um, the Australian slash American whites. They have um, specific tag colors that uh, they just, you know, I don't know, suggested tag colors that that way everybody's kind of on the same page of um, F1s, F2s, and then as you breed up, I don't remember the other colors, but um, yellow is F1 and then F2 is orange. So last year when I did my F1s, I just wanted a bright tag and so I put orange in those. And I had F1 on the top, like, uh, whatever, printed on it. And then I, I wrote, just because I'm used to cows, Ryan and I always write out our tags. And so I wrote out 22 dash and then whatever number. So like 1 through 11 is what we had. Um, and so that worked out good, but um, I couldn't see the tags from far away if they were handwritten. And um, I wanted to switch the colors to what the regulations were um, on on the page. That way I'm, I'm on the same, you know, same as everybody else. So I will be switching out all of our um, 10 uh, F1 U's, their tags, um, uh, from last year. Oh, sorry. And um, my arm gets tired. Uh, anyways, um, but so they are going to get switched out to all yellow. And so I have those just starting at a um, thousand and that way I'll be able to have quite a few um, you know numbers until I'm ready to start over uh, with a thousand again um, or I could do yellow and do 2000 and go up I just haven't really decided but anyways yellows from now on will be our F1s so then F2s are going to be uh, orange and so what I decided was to go ahead, like I said, when I hand wrote last year, the tags, it was, I wish I had one. No, I left them in the other, um, in the barn, but, um, they had F1 at the top and then this like number was shrunken down or the space was shrunken down. And then I hand wrote it, I hand wrote <laughs> the numbers and you just couldn't see them. So um, I wanted to make sure that these numbers were as big as possible. So on one tag, it just has uh, the number. So 2000 for this first little ram lamb. And then, um, uh, so that will be able to be seen on, um, so we tag ours uh, according, I think it's the same with uh, cows. I would assume it's the same with sheep. But um, if you are riding the animal, um, it would be the left side is female and then the right side is male. And um, so the, depending on, so this little guy is going to have it on the right side. It is going to be the 2000. And then on the other side, what I decided to do was do a smaller tag. I could have done another big tag, but I don't know why. I guess I just wanted to be different. I don't know. Decided to go ahead and do a small tag. And then on this one, it has the 2000, but then it also has our scrabies number on it on one side. And then on the other side, it just has our BRG and then F2. You guys can see that. So um, the reason that I'm putting two tags though, I did not realize we didn't have that big of a problem prior to us getting these sheep in Oklahoma, but they were all tagged when we brought them home um, from Oklahoma. I had all of their numbers written down, and I think we've had at least five or six, which is crazy. I think we only had like one or two from our previous groups um, lose their tags, but five or six, that's quite a bit. And, um, you know, if I'm trying to keep good records of my sheep and know who 
mama is, who the baby is, what, especially what they are in the, you know, the F1, F2, in the breeding program. Um, I got to be able to know that stuff and I got to be able to identify them. Um, so I decided that two tags was a necessary thing. That way, if they lose the big tag or if they lose the little tag, I have time if I, you know, I will see it. Um, to say, oh my goodness, they, they lost one tag, we gotta go ahead and switch it out um, to a different one. Uh, because I don't think that you can like specifically, I guess I could buy a bunch of like, you know, orange tags that don't have anything on it and then I could write out their number um, or I could just go ahead and switch it out to something else and then switch it in my, my um, you know, my records that I'm keeping. So. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and um, tag this little guy. Uh, I didn't, I don't know why, I didn't have all this like ready to go because, you know, life um, and being a mom and I don't know. I didn't have all my tags ready to go and I hadn't decided what I was going to do. So I handwritten, um, I think we've had like 12 lambs now and so I've handwritten um, uh, all those 12. And so I'll have to take them out and um, put in these official new ones for um, all the F1s that we've had on the ground. But I'm excited. This little guy way over there. He's doing really good. But um, yeah, so that is the video for today. Um, if you guys have any comments about, um, you know, double tagging or... Um, I don't know, uh, the tagging system, if you like it, leave a comment in the um, comment box below. I love to read your guys' comments and see what you guys think. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye guys.